Welcome to Just Wing It, Airwolf Tours. Today we are going to look at the volcano Krakatoa. This should be a fairly short flight. Nothing too extreme to see with Krakatoa. However, I do want to give you an opportunity to see it both in first person and third person views. So, first half of the video I will be doing first person only. Second half of the video, I will be doing external views of Airwolf. Everything is set up and ready to go. Let's get flying. We will be heading west. I will attempt to break Mark 2 if I can. I think we've got the distance needed, so let's see if I can do it. Give me turbos. Looks like there's some clouds. Mark 1 exceeded. Going slightly off course. Local time here is four thirteen. Switch it gone, oxygen. Might be a bit half for Mark II. Let's see. Still accelerating, so it should be fine. I see crack. Crack a toe up ahead. Mark two. Still accelerating. I better lower thrust a bit, otherwise I'll be redlining. So that chain of islands right up ahead, 12 o'clock low, that is Krakatoa, the whole thing. It used to be one massive island and then when it erupted, the island was basically destroyed. That must have been quite something to see. 
anyone excited about to explain 12? Let me know by commenting below and please don't forget to like and subscribe. I've got so many people returning to see these videos, but hardly any of them are subscribing. So it would be a bonus. It would really help out the channel and you'll get to see far better quality of videos in the future. Well, that is one heck of a big cauldron. Bit of crosswind, wind shear. It looks good. Right, I think we can go back to rotors. For reverse thrust. Engaging rotors. Rotors re-engaged. So let's go around the entire base of the volcano and see how big it is. You can clearly see where the cauldron actually is. We're on the outer rim. I found this quite fascinating. I need to recalibrate my rudder sometime. After this, I want to go and land on an aircraft carrier. So compared to other volcanoes we've seen so far, this volcano isn't very high. Well, when I say high, I mean peaking from sea level. In reality, it is actually quite high. We just don't see half of it. So yeah, that is the base of the volcano. It's actually massive.
this is pretty much where we started. So let's head to the aircraft carrier, shall we? Still find it hilarious that there's this lonely island right in the middle here. Right here. So I'm assuming this is the focal point of where it erupted. Let's go back to Turbo. Mark 1 exceeded. Not going beyond 100% thrust for this one. That's a bit overkill. Quite a strong crosswind today. Indonesia, quite a beautiful country. I heard that the humidity here is quite something. Where we live, it's very dry at the moment, to the point that I have to put on uh, cream for our skin as often as possible. It's crazy. I still have it here. Here's the carrier. Shall we buzz the tower? Don't you dare do it, Maverick. Over G. Good way of slowing down. It's called a bleeding energy. This is going to be fun. Totally wrong angle of attack, but let's do it anyway.
Wow, I did it. Okay, cool. Right, so let's do the replay, shall we? Hopefully the software won't crash. If it does, then see you next week, I guess. Alright, so welcome back. This is Tower View. And the ladies beyond the building. So at this point I'm just setting up the lady, so it shouldn't take too long. You're welcome to fast forward a few minutes, maybe two or three minutes. I'm guessing this view is actually in the building. Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Malaysian Airlines. Not a very good rendering of it. But I'm actually grateful for that. Reason being is, yeah, X-Claim takes up a lot of PC resources. And my PC isn't exactly state of the art. I'm grateful for it though. This makes you realize how long it actually takes to set up just to go for a short flight. I didn't even set up navigation. Just went completely VFR on this one. I had done this flight last week, either last week or the week before, but I had problems with the recording, so I couldn't post. So at least I knew where to go for this one. I think I must have tried maybe three or four times to get the video wrapped. The uh, constant issues. Looks like this one is working well though. So if you haven't seen, I have posted the airshow at Vodacliff Airbase. That was a very good airshow. And so far that video has done extremely well. So please feel free to go and look it up. I'll put it up in the right hand corner. Hopefully I won't forget to do that. But yeah, I think go have a look and I hope you enjoy it. Ah, I can hear the ladies' turbos. There we go, and we have left off. She really is a beauty, isn't she?
We actually saw Bell Triple Two Bs at the air show. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of it. There you go, Mark 1 exceeded. And into the clouds. I still don't know what that blinking over there is. I don't know if it's a reflection or what it is. But yeah, you can see we are pretty high over here. All the contrails. I've pulled up to 18 G's with the lady. Somehow I don't think that would ever be possible, but yeah, the lady isn't exactly possible, is she? <laughs> I'm curious to see what tower picks us up. Once we closer, I'm going to go into chase view only. I think that's a good option, right? Please remember, if you have any suggestions or you want to see something, let me know in the comments. You never know, I might just do it for you. All depends on resources, of course, though. At the moment, I use mostly all the freeware. But I promise you, if I get a thousand subscribers and four thousand viewing hours, I will actually buy the bought content. And it will be a lot better. Alright, let's change to Chase View, shall we?
I encourage you all who are viewing this to actually do research on Krakatoa. It is quite an interesting read. I'm just wondering if the aircraft carrier is going to be worth showing because if I recall in replan mode it doesn't show up so I'll be ending up landing on nothing. <laughs> Should be interesting to see actually. Quite a laugh. That would be sad though, of course I thought that was quite a good landing. Crosswind landing with a moving object. I want to say thank you to those who have subscribed though. My channel is definitely growing quite rapidly and I'm very happy to be a part of it. The speed looks so slow but in reality it's actually quite fast. 300 knots, mm, not slow at all, that's what about 580 kilometers an hour, more or less, it's 1.8 times kilometers an hour. But compared to what the lady is actually capable of, that's slow. So an interesting fact about Airwolf's turbos, in reality uh, they are always actually on, they are always running, but they would be feathered until they are needed, otherwise they would just produce drag that is going to slow down the aircraft way too much. I believe that red number you see in the intro, I think it's usually between 45 and 55. I think those are the turbo's powers, power setting, which correlates with the simulation as well. It would be completely impractical to have them completely off during flight. Startup sequence would take too long. And yes, it would cause too much unnecessary drag. Now, please remember the aircraft carrier may not be visible. I don't know if they've updated that and made it visible, but we'll see. I always find that so odd. All the aircraft and all of 
the ground objects aren't always visible in replay. Kind of annoying actually. Hence why I haven't used replay that much. Uh huh, vapor cloud. Also remember that vapor cloud doesn't always show at Mark 1 in reality. It doesn't have to show at Mark 1. And it doesn't have to show at all. Alright, let's see if the carry is there. But it, oh well, maybe it is. Kudos to X-Plane and Austin for fixing that problem. Yeah, it's legitimately fixed. Well done, guys. Alright, this is view from the carrier, from the tower. With the radar and the equipment in the way, I'm not sure it's going to work. But let's see. Or should I try runway? Let's try runway. That takes me somewhere totally different. Here she comes. This was quite a challenging landing, but it was worth it. It was fun. And I'm proud that I actually got it right. the sound of that engine. Remember this is a crosswind landing and the aircraft carrier itself is doing about 30 knots. And turning every now and again. I didn't even fully realize how much. Okay, yeah, no, that was actually really not bad. Sorry for the jolting, I think it's the aircraft carrier turning. Wow, that's one heck of a shake. Okay, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on notifications. See you next week.